Hello guys, it's Ben here. Today we're going to take a quick look at The Last Campfire, a game made by Hello Games. Yes, you heard it right, Hello Games. So the first question that comes to mind is, is this game actually good at launch this time, Sean? No. Well, maybe. Come on, Sean, enough jokes. Is the launch better this time or not? <laughs> uh, no. Okay guys, enough joking here. The Last Campfire is a ton less ambitious than No Man's Sky was back in the day, so could it even be worse? In our opinion it's not. In The Last Campfire you play as a lost Amber, who is on a journey to find hope and searching for a way back home out of that puzzling dark world. This world actually looks and feels great with its cartoony art style and mysterious creatures and environment. You really enjoy wandering in this oddly sad world? The puzzles themselves are fun to do and get quite challenging when progressing through the game, but I don't really feel that the game had the focus to be challenging. It's an emotional story about an Ember in desperate search for hope so he can escape the darkness feels like the true power card for the last campfire. Alongside your own story, the game makes you help other souls by completing side puzzles so you can save them from the darkness that the game world's supposed to be in. All in all, the last campfire is not a bad game, with a beautiful cartoony environment and a great story, but it's not really that original in its own structure.